Welcome to Corporal's Corner. Today we're going to make a PVC longbow, so stick around. Now imagine, if you will, a natural or man-made disaster occurs. And it's been said that within the first 72 hours of that event occurring, the shelves are wiped out at all stores of food and water. Now depending on how long that event lasts and how prepared you are, you may have to decide to go down that road of securing other meat sources for yourself or for your family that you wouldn't normally think of. I'm talking about domesticated animals, pets. Now, let's think about this. You got animals running around, which are prime targets. Along those same lines, that opens the door to predators coming in from mountain ranges, bobcats, mountain lions, owls, hawks, things like that. So in a way, you're gonna have food all around. And you're gonna need to come up with new, unique ideas to secure those meat sources. So let's go ahead and kick this off with an urban PVC bow. We have five foot, three quarter inch schedule 40 PVC pipe. We have three fiberglass reflective markers, a file, gorilla tape, and six to eight feet of paracord, color of your choice. Now taking my PVC pipe, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure approximately one inch, and I'm gonna go ahead and take my file, and I'm gonna go ahead and carve a groove in there. Just file a groove right in the center. And once we're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and make it look like a smiley face or a frowny face. We're gonna go ahead and go down this way a little bit on both sides so that my paracord will set perfectly inside there. Grabbing one of your reflective markers, go ahead and take it and run it all the way to that notch and then grab a second reflective marker and do the same thing on your opposite side. Now right here where the overlap starts, I want to go ahead and measure it from this point all the way down to where the overlap ends and mark the halfway point. Okay, for me, on my measurements, the halfway point happens to be around 20 inches. Go ahead and grab one of your reflective fiberglass markers. And we mentioned that they were 48 inches a piece. So find the halfway point. It's 24 inches. Just mark it right there. Go ahead and cut it in half. Now taking the smaller reflective markers, I want to find the halfway point as well. And on this one here, it's 12 inches. Now place one of your small reflective markers on top of the longer two. Do the same thing on the bottom. Go ahead and match up your lines and wrap it in duct tape. Now taking your Gorilla Brand duct tape, go ahead and wrap it around every six inches, all the way down. Use it sparingly, and I mean just enough to go around one time. And what you're left with is a glorified fiberglass bundle bow that you're going to slide inside of the PVC pipe sleeve. Alright, let's so go ahead and grab a paracord and we're going to tie an overhand loop. Now keep in mind you can tie any type of loop that you want, but we're going to start off with the overhand loop. All we're going to do is make a bite Drop it down, we're going to go around and back up. And then pull it tight. And for our opposite end, tie the exact same loop, but make sure that loop ends anywhere from four to six inches from that notch. And lastly, and this is completely optional, I went ahead and took some Gorilla Brand duct tape, I located my center point, and then I measured three inches on each side. 
and then thinking of a handle on a baseball bat, all I did was just wrap it from one end until I got to my opposite end. So to string our bow, all I'm going to do is I'm going to step inside, I'm going to bend it over my body, and move my loop down until it hits that little notch, and you're good to go. Welcome back. This is outstanding. Let's go ahead and talk about a couple of things. I know I'm going to get this question, so I'll go ahead and try and answer it. Are the fiberglass dowels that are inside the PVC, are they necessary? And I'm going to say no. However, in my limited experience with these, what I found was without the dowels, there's no reinforcing. And the bow wasn't as strong. And second, most importantly, I looked down the PVC and it was actually twisting on itself. And I went down that road in my head that at some point it could snap. So I discarded it and went and did it the right way. So my opinion in survival, if you absolutely have to, can you grab a piece of PVC, saw into the end, string it, and use it? Yes, but in practice, and if you have the opportunity to do it right, do it right. Now the next question I know I'm going to get, how strong is this bow? I don't know. I have no way of checking that. I have very limited experience with these, and I'm not going to pretend that I do. Um, but the numbers that kept popping up in my research were between 30 and 40 pounds. You know, take it with a grain of salt. Um, side note though, Native Americans had bows that were 40 to 50 pounds, and they were taking down deer. So in my humble opinion, could one of these that are reinforced take out a former domesticated animal that found their way into a neighborhood cul-de-sac, housing track, etc. I believe so. Thank you for your comments, view support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time.